All right, guys, so today I have an unboxing video. As usual, I had to censor the first part of the video because it has a shipping label on it with my name. The backstory of this is I've had a project that I've been wanting to do for years. And unfortunately, it requires the usage of outdated equipment. They packed it really well, but of course, the better they pack it, the harder it is to open. But I'd rather that be the case than the opposite. This is hard to see. So what I'm going to do... Wow. Yeah, they packed this very well. I don't. I think the camera's being blocked. So hold on, guys. I'm basically just going to put the box to the side. And I'm, I'm going to just take it out as, it, as best I can. That wasn't too bad. I like that there's a lot of bubble wrap on this. I don't want anything to get scratched up. Oh, we're starting to see it now. I'm almost there. I actually can be, I'm, I should be able to pull, no. Nope. It's still a little tight. I'll just keep going how I was going. All right, so again, the backstory is I've had this project that I've been working on, um, or I've been trying to start working on, I should say, for, I would say at least three years. And this project involves having to use standard definition video equipment. So there it is. <laughs> there we go. It looks like it's on, but it's not. Um, did they put the power cable in here? It was supposed to be in here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Looks like I'm going to have to send an email. So there it is. It is a late model. I believe it's a late model because it's not one of the gray ones. Panasonic video mixer. It's not just a regular Panasonic AG MX70. Oh no. It is actually. I guess I can show it to you this way. You see that, that yellow part at the top? That's like a $2,500 add on. So it's already got a bunch of cool inputs. But when this first came out, uh, SDI was still like a, a high end feature. And I guess to an extent it still is. But there you go. It has. Um, Four? No. I don't know how many XLR inputs. But like it's all professional inputs and outputs. And it looks like I could actually just use a computer monitor cable for the power. Um, which I think I still have laying around somewhere. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So not only do I have one power cable, but I have, I think that's four. It's at least three. So, theoretically, any of these should work. Okay. So, again, I'll show you guys that part, which is the most important part. As I always say, you know, they like to show the top of these things, but I, I want to see the ins and outs. So, I'm showing you guys the ins and outs of this sweet piece of equipment that hopefully works. I guess I could try plugging in right now, if this will reach the outlet over here. Make sure this is off. Even though I have no video equipment to plug it in with. <laughs> so I'm going to lower the camera so you can see a little bit more detail. Okay, the moment of truth. Ready? Oh, it has a fan. Damn. 
Nice. So if I turn the lights off, I wonder what you guys can still see. <laughs> Neat. All right. Yeah, the screen still works. That's important because you. Uh, I'm gonna have to set it up to how I need it to be. Right off the bat, I'm not gonna have H or uh, SDI serial digital interface. Right off the bat, man, that's a loud fan though. Guess I'll get used to it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Yep. So there you go, guys. Audio. I'm going to have to read the user manual now that I actually own one of these. But cool. That is the Panasonic AG MX70. What I'll do is I'll show you a close up of the screen. Oh. That glare, hold on. There we go. <laughs> neat. Very neat. Hopefully this thing lasts me at least a year. I don't know how long it's gonna take to do what I need to do. But there you go. Very, very cool. Oh, it even, ha even has an audio meter at the top. See that? All right. See you guys. I'll keep you posted with, you know, well, I can't really tell what I'm, I can't really tell you all what I'm doing with this, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'll, I'll let you know how it's progressing.